the back. No. Uh, what are the prolonged effects that we could expect to see from the financial, or the government shutdown, not only for Americans, but the financial market as well? <clears throat> well, you know, the, 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 the problem with, uh, the problem, the world is, the world isn't interested in the debt ceiling and the debt ceiling crisis and the debt ceiling talks. Uh, America has the world's reserve cu currency. That's to say, the dollar, if you're a third world basket case like uh, Zimbabwe, your debt is denominated in US dollars. So that whatever you, whatever you borrow, you have to pay back in US dollars. It's the world's reserve currency, the global currency. Now, nobody today would give the global, make the global currency a, uh, uh, that of a country with $17 trillion in debt. So what the world wants to know is what America is going to do to lower that debt. The world's got all the American debt it wants. The Chinese don't want to buy any American debt. That's why, that's why the bulk of the American, uh, uh, American debt at the moment is being issued by the U.S. Treasury and bought by the Federal Reserve. And if you're saying, well, wait a minute, isn't the U.S. Treasury is a, is a subsidiary of the United States government, and the Federal Reserve is, is a subsidiary of the United States government, a, a one remove, isn't that a bit like the right hand issuing debt to, your, to, to the left hand? That's like you saying, my right hand is, I'm, I'm, I'm running a bit short this month, so my right hand is going to lend $5 to my left hand. That's, that's basically what's, what's happening here. And at some point it will not be able to, you know, the, raising the debt ceiling is, it, Obama keeps saying, well, this is when you, the folks, he, that's a word he likes to use, the, he's all very folksy, the folks are sitting around the kitchen table and, uh, and they're going to say uh, to their, uh, their boss, well, I'm not going to do this until you, the, the only analogy relevant about the debt ceiling is it's like you having a $500, it's, it's like, uh, a guy and, uh, you know, uh, uh, a husband and wife having, say, a $1,000 overdraft limit at the bank. And, they're, 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 and they sit around and they're arguing about whether to increase it to $2,000. And at the end of it, they go to the bank and they say, well, we've decided, we've agreed we can borrow $2,000 from you. That's ridiculous. The bank will say, well, hang on a minute. How much you can borrow is ultimately up to me. How much America can borrow will ultimately be decided by the global markets. And the global, uh, ba basically all the lenders out there feel they've le lent America enough money and it's time for America to figure out a way of, of reducing that debt. You know, $17 trillion is a lot of money. Nobody, the, the T word was never heard before your lifetimes uh, it, it, it was something you heard about in astronomy. You, you know, planet Zongo is 18 trillion light years from Earth. That's the only can, that was the only use of the word trillion until uh, the Obama era, basically, in which it became normalized. It's a huge amount of money. And, one, and, you got, and there's two choices. You guys can pay that off. Uh, or you can default on it, and at that point the dollar ceases to be the global currency and the world moves to a basket of currencies, the, the uh, euro and, and the pound and the yen and uh, the Australian dollar and a few others. Uh, and at that, po at that point it's over. That's the only difference between you and Zimbabwe. And it's, got a, and, 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 and it's not a small thing. That $17 trillion is real. That's money that our generation has actually borrowed from you without asking you. Uh, it's like uh, basically uh, when, you, when you get those credit card offers in the mail from some post office box on the other side of the country and it says you may already be approved on the envelope. You guys were already approved by us and we ran up $17 trillion of debt in your name and that's real debt and at some point it has to be paid off, not increased. <coughs> So it's about lowering the debt ceiling, not about raising it.